did not hear God. When God said, do not sacrifice Isaac. Do you know that Abraham would have killed Isaac and he would have thought that he did something great for God? But in God's calendar, he was not supposed to do that at that particular time. When God wants you to do something, you do it. And when he tells you to not, you refrain. So obedience is doing that which God wants you to do. When he wants you to do it. How? <laughs> Hallelujah. My time my thank you for us still. Amen. I'll be very brief. How he wants you to do it. How? When it comes to God, that he always tells us, our pastor, that God is a king. And when you are relating with king and people of influence, it is very important how you relate with them. Some of you don't understand. Let's say, Umo uh, is your uncle. Right? You have access to him. He's your uncle. Let's say it's your uncle that you know, you know, okay, let's say it's your father. Let's use that example. Since we are using God as our father now. Umayno is your father. And Umayno is having a conference meeting. And you, as his daughter, you just you enter there. You say, I want to see my father, not now. It says in a meeting, you just start to walk to everybody. Just do any harm. Because you are his daughter. You'll be surprised that he'll be the one to say that security. Can you let's go? Away from here. Why? He's loyalty. Amen. He's son of influence. So even if it's your father, there is that place of respect for him. Even though God is our Father, there is that place of reverence for Him. So, how we do the things that God wants us to do is important. It's not only important to do it when He wants you to do it, when He wants how you do it. And how you do it is the state of your heart when you are doing what God wants you to do. What is the state of your heart? Do you relate with God based on and uh, if I obey God, something must show? <laughs> Are you always looking to get something before you obey God? Now, I want us to quickly look at the difference between obedience and responding to God. Excuse me. Because a lot of us don't obey God, we respond to Him. I hope, I pray that in the simplicity of this message, that the Holy Spirit will minister to each and every one of you what He wants you to do in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Some of us do not obey God. We respond to Him. What does it mean to respond to somebody? Let me give you a dictionary definition. It says to say or do something as a reaction to something that has been said or done. For example, Listen, if I say, where's your phone? It's in your bag. Okay, it, it's okay. If you're doing something with your phone now, let's say you're chatting with your phone, and I say, listen, give me that phone. And what you're doing is something that is good. Amen? <laughs> I don't want me to see that thing that you're doing. Because I am your pastor, you know what to disobey me, right? So you just respond, but in your heart, you're like, which one is this one now? So you are not obeying me. Though you are doing something, we cannot call it obedience. Why? The first check of obedience, which is the state of your heart, is wrong. Everybody, listen to me. The first checkpoint of obedience is the state of your heart. If the state of your heart is wrong, you are not obeying God. You are responding to me. And let me tell you, there is no blessing for response. The blessings of God only comes for those that are obedient to Him. If what you do is just an outward show, that's what 
I mean by red spot? Okay, an outward display or uh, a corresponding action, but the state of your heart is wrong. Then the fundamental, the thing that attracts the blessing of obedience, which is the state of your heart, is out of it. And in the madness, let's put it like this: obedience is is like a, a big box. And there is a metal, or there is a magnet inside that box. That magnet is the state of your heart. So if you want to attract another metal, the state of your heart must be right. So the state of your heart is like that magnet that attracts the blessings of obedience. That is why a lot of people do things but don't see results. Why? The magnet that is supposed to attract the blessing is missing. The state of your heart is corrupted. The state of your heart is not right. And therefore, there is nothing to be attracted. If you take the magnet out from the box, the box is just a piece of box. But if you want to see effect, put that magnet there. And you will see how that box will begin to attract other things. So when you are doing this and the state of your heart is wrong, you are not obeying God. You are responding. And that is not where God wants us to be. He says, my sheep, they hear my voice. Is it just hearing that they do? No. They obey that voice that they have heard. Amen. That means that as long as God is talking, He's expecting a response from you. And that is response for obedience. I pray that God will help us in our walk with Him in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray that God will help us in the name of Jesus. Amen. So, let's lay the foundation before we move to the benefits. I have said that obedience primarily means that the state of your heart. Everybody says state of your heart. State of your heart. Everybody says state of your heart. State of your heart. The state of your heart is right. And that is why as a Christian, fight to make sure that the state of your heart is right. If there is any prayer you must be, you should be praying consistently as a Christian, is Lord, my heart. Let my motive be right. Mm. Let the reason why I'm doing so, let, let the reason why I am coming to church, <laughs> not because I want to see babe, but let it be that I want to come and fellowship with my father. So the number one checkpoint for obedience, if you want to check if you are obeying God, the first thing you must check is what? The state of your heart. That is the first checkpoint. How many of you have been through checkpoints before? <laughs> when you are traveling, you go through checkpoints. And when you go through checkpoints, sometimes they say, drop out, show me your party. Class. Open these books. Make I see what's in there inside. So how do you check the state of your heart? You bring out your particulars. You check the name. Is my name written there? You begin to ask yourself questions. This thing that I want to do, am I doing it because I want praise? Now you come down. When you give your particulars to the police, they will check it. So you will ask the Holy Spirit to help you. Holy Spirit is the police who it will help you to check that ah Lord, this thing I'm doing for you, am I doing it because I want praises? You'll be surprised that the Holy Spirit will tell you to come down from that car and come and open your boots. When you open your boots, it will begin to tell you that see inside your boots, you have pride. See inside your boots, you have some little, little, little gossiping. See inside your boots, you have some little, there's a little bit of malice. It's not much jokes. It's just, you know, 0.2 where it's there. The Holy Spirit will begin now to hook on your heart. Because it 
it is important for you as a Christian that the state of your heart is right when it comes to obeying God. Sometimes when God gives you instruction, you have to sit and say, Lord, this thing you have told me, how do you want me to do? 